European Union leaders arrived at a summit in Brussels Thursday to seek ways to make the bloc a more hostile destination for migrants and asylum seekers following a recent surge in support for the extreme right. As the summit opened, the 27 EU leaders prepared to look at plans to speed up initiatives to get unwanted migrants out of the bloc and process asylum applications far outside their borders. The tenor of the debate is a far cry from 2015, less than a decade ago, when the EU was faced with a migration crisis. Well over a million migrants and refugees sought help then, mainly from the Middle East and Afghanistan. German Chancellor Angela Merkel, the EU's dominant national leader at the time, famously said, we can manage that. Now, EU leaders want to manage and seal off their borders ever more tightly, embracing initiatives that would have looked unacceptable only a few years ago. In recent weeks, Poland has said it wants to temporarily suspend the right to asylum, Italy has opened two centers to process asylum seekers outside its borders in Albania and Germany has reinstated border controls, all of them measures going in the same direction. With the extreme right surging in the EU parliamentary elections in June and in other polls in Germany and Austria since, migration remains a trigger button for leaders. On Wednesday, an Italian Navy ship docked at the Albanian port of Shingen to bring the first group of 16 migrants intercepted in international waters for processing there. Under a five-year deal signed last November by Italian Premier Giorgia Maloney and her Albanian counterpart, Eddie Rama, up to 3,000 migrants picked up by the Italian Coast Guard in international waters each month will be sheltered in Albania. They will be screened initially on board the ships that rescue them before being sent to Albania for further assessment. Kremlin spokesperson Dmitry Peskov slammed Ukrainian President Zelensky's victory plan, calling it ephemeral. He said, instead, that it's a U.S. plan to fight us until the last Ukrainian, which Zelensky has camouflaged and presented as some ephemeral peace plan. Peskov also reiterated that a peace plan for Russia will only work if Ukraine understands the need to sober up. Zelensky was set to at least partially unveil a plan to win against Russia to his country's parliament after weeks of dropping hints about the blueprint to lukewarm Western allies, including U.S. President Joe Biden. Zelensky in the Verkhovna Rada stated that Western partners have practically approached the victory plan. Now, teams are focused on the details of effective support. Ukraine's partners, to whom this plan has already been presented, have approached it practically. They are paying attention. Teams are focused on the details for effective support. The teams have begun working, Zelensky said. He also confirmed that he would present the victory plan at tomorrow's European Council meeting. However, the president emphasized that he first needed to present it to the Verkhovna Rada. But I want to be honest about how certain non-public, diverse format communications with Ukraine accompany the situation. We hear from partners certain words like negotiations and, much less frequently, the word justice. Ukraine is open to diplomacy, but to honest diplomacy, Zelensky added. Notably, the victory plan has been shared with American leaders, including Joe Biden and presidential candidates Kamala Harris and Donald Trump. The document was also presented to leaders in the UK, France, Italy, and Germany. Ведется речь о, о неком эфемерном э, мирном мирном плане. Но, э, скорее всего, это тот же самый план американцев, 
э, воевать с нами до последнего украинца, который теперь Зеленский закамуфлировал и назвал мирным планом. Вот, по всей видимости, это так. Какого-то иного там плана нет. Там может быть иной план, который может быть действительно мирным. Это осознание киевским режимом без перспективности той политики, которую они проводят, и, э, скажем так, понимание необходимости э, протрезветь, протрезветь и осознать те причины, которые привели к э, вот этому конфликту вокруг Украины, который сейчас идет.